Well, hello, big nonsense. That was Japanese for welcome to this week's You Big Nonsense review. It's nearly Christmas, so we've made it festive. And we're doing this game here. It's called Adolescent Santa Claus. So let's give it a shot. I want to play it, try the story mode. Um, let's just jump right in. See what it's all about. Loading. Here we go. Here we go. Crack on. Christmas Eve. I was in my room, staring off into the distance. The room was as plain as it gets. No noise, no colour, not even a smell. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. What's the big deal about Christmas anyway? Everything's so stagnant, nothing ever changes around here. I let out a deep and drawn out sigh. <sighs> now that I think of it, there was once a more innocent time when I used to believe in Santa Claus. Santa! Will he ever come? He probably won't. I'm no longer a kid after all. Phew. After letting out a sigh, I rolled over. Once I did so, there was... What was that? <gasps> Give me your gift. There was a kid version of Santa Claus. Oh, Jesus Christ. There was a kid version of Santa Claus. She suddenly popped out demanding a gift from me. That made me flinch a bit. I mean, I'm... I'm not going to lie, that did make me flinch a bit. Hang on, where did she even come from? She wasn't here a second ago. I don't know. Let's not think about it. Let's not think about it. Let's not dwell on it. Sorry, I, I don't have anything for you. I've absolutely no idea where she came from, but she seemed rather harmless. And, and uh, she seemed rather harmless. You have nothing left. Yeah, I've got, I've got no money. Anything else? Well, I, I can't give you my computer. That's how I record my reviews. I can't give you my clothes, otherwise I'll be naked. And I can't give you my books because I don't want any books. They are my bare necessities after all. Still, you don't have something else to offer? Like, 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 like what? Hopes and dreams. I've got none of those either. Yeah, I figured. So, sorry, you might want to try somebody better off. Hmm, mm, she said, leering at me. I won't leave until you give me a gift. Whatever, do, do what you want. Am I hallucinating? Or am I dreaming? Or am I playing a Japanese game? The kid sat a little joyous chuckle while she ran around me in a circle. Today is Christmas Eve. I couldn't even tell what was real or not anymore. To be honest, it didn't really matter. All that was clear was that this cute kid Santa Claus wasn't going to leave me alone. Fade to fog. Christmas Eve. I locked my door. And doing that made it seem like I have sealed myself into my very own private world. A tranquil one that I won't be disturbed in. All I needed to do was to close the door out of the lack of miracles, out of the... Close the door out of the lack of miracles, expecting nothing. The only thing I needed in the world is Pornhub, is me. All I need in a world with a population of one, me. But... Jesus Christ. Not oh, Jesus Christ, Santa Claus. Santa was still tirelessly orbiting around me. Just running around endlessly, starting to get on me tits. Sit! She sat. For some reason, it feels like she'd give me her hand if I say paw to her. I'm not, I'm not gonna. Let's not do that. So who exactly are you? Santa Claus! You're wearing a school uniform, you mad bitch. Still, Santa Claus. I guess she's right. I mean, after all, I didn't realise that she was any right after seeing her. I mean, who, who could doubt it? How was I able to do that? I'm not sure. 
But there are times in your life where you just regret starting a playthrough video. Um, and you just want to forget it all. Um, and do as your heart desires, right? It was one of the- it's one of those days. It's fucking four days before Christmas. Christmas Eve, in fact. The one time of year where everyone just wants to forget about reality and live in their dreams. Weren't Santa's extinct? I managed to survive by wearing a school uniform. All of the other Santas got killed and put into a big pot and burned to death. So that's how Santa started wearing a school uniform. How does it feel to be a cute girl? Feels like cosplay. Santa's depraved, yes. No, no, I am still sad in my heart, even if I wear a school uniform. Then why are you taking the presents away? I thought Santa was supposed to be giving them. Withdrawing. Withdrawing. Withdrawing? I questioned. Yep, I'm taking back the things I gave away when everyone was little. Why? Since I loaned it to you. Loaned what I said? You know hopes, dreams, future, that sort of stuff. Wait, you were lending those? Yep. I was going to take everything back with interest, but... But... Everyone went bankrupt. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Jesus Christ, you've got to laugh. Santa was actually a loan shark. We were all being deceived. So basically you're here to repossess the hopes and dreams you gave me when I was younger? Yes. And I'm going to take them back with interest at the very last penny. Sorry, I'm broke as well. Uh, said Santa. That's what Santa said. Santa twitched as, as if she had taken a, a hit to her emotions. Twitch, twitch. That was kind of cute. There's a deadline. Santa's in the fucking mafia. A deadline? The 24th and the 25th. So today and tomorrow. If I miss the deadline, I would have to return this uniform to its owner. I wish you I wish you would. And then Santa will go extinct. Huh? Huh? Wait, why? Well, because Santa can only ex escape the danger of going extinct by wearing a school uniform becoming a beautiful girl. Or... Alternatively, meeting Tim Allen in a dark alley. Hmm. That's not very easy to understand. Therefore, Santa looked as though she was planning to explain it to me. Once the 25th passes, anything I do will be pointless. Why? Because today and tomorrow are meant to be the most fantastic days of all. Fantastic? Fantastic! Ah, fantastic. Fantastic was said a lot there, so it is very fun. A fantastic, yeah, fantastic, fantastic day. It's all very fantastic. So Santa has to collect her payment in full within the next two days, huh? Yep. It's urgent. Sorry, I literally have nothing. That's not strictly true. I do have a nice beer in front of me at the moment. Um, I've actually had a, a beer off um, Chainsaw. He brews his own beer and sent me a beer, which is quite lovely. Um, I'm currently drinking Brewdog Quench Quake, which is a weird tasting beer, but it's quite a nice as well. Ugh, said Santa. Not because of the beer, I don't think. I think just literally weird Santa. It's morning. The sun is rising. Even on the most fantastic of all days, the sun rises like any other. Sun, 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 sunny fucking day. Christmas Eve is a sunny day. Ah. It's not fantastic at all. I'm guessing the sun is not too fond of the snow from the way he killed them all. It heated and melted them all away. Poor snow. Sun tends to be always like that. Sunny places are always like that. Reality is always like that. Sander? What? Where the fuck's Rudolph? I grilled and ate him. Did, did he taste good? Tasted like tears. Tears? 
Santa was hungry, so she had to eat Rudolph. But Santa was starving to the point where she didn't eat her beloved Rudolph. She would have perished. How, how, how did it get to this? Well, since all the kids who received my law went bankrupt, I'm also broke. Oh. Rudolph. Rudolph. But it's fine. Rudolph's inside me now. We'll be together forever. How, how is Santa meant to get round without Rudolph? What else? S Santa walks. You you walk. I know, I know where Rudolph is able to fly, but just because I ate him doesn't mean I can fly now. Not even if I paint my nose red. <laughs> we decided to have a moment of silence for Rudolph. Well, one of us did. The other was cackling like a manic fucking Santa. Uh, what do you plan to do once the 24th and 25th is over? I'm going to make more hopes and dreams for the next 363 days. And with those... And with those... And with those, I'm going to distribute them all on the 24th and 25th. Santa's great! Yay! I see, sir. I see. Santa's great. I've fallen on hard times at the factory, though, so the factory is now a pile of debris. Why? Because the children who borrowed the hopes and dreams from us all file for bankruptcy altogether. Ugh. Gibby, gibby! So, sorry. I mean, we've just gone through it. I don't have anything. Ugh. <coughs> this Santa's the worst, Santa. The morning went by and it's now noon. Afternoon. Ah, afternoon. I want to see snow, white snow, white panoramic landscape. I want to see beautiful white scenery. Go away, son. Let the snow fall. I'm hungry. Santa was starving. Uh, you, you're hungry? Rudolph is crying out that he's hungry inside of me. R Rudolph? Y you're alive? I've got I've got some some ramen if you want or I don't like instant food. We could always starve. You bad debtor! The creditor forced violence on the debtor. A knuckle to my forehead. One minute of recovery, I passed out. One minute passed. Rebirth. That's a relief. Hey, I, I wouldn't die from that. <coughs> Impossible things could also happen on this fantastic day. Fantastic day. I can't afford to be careless on this fantastic day. Sander? Huh? Why did you start lending hopes and dreams to the kids? Well, I was selling them at first. You were, you were selling them. Yeah, yeah. For, for how much? Despair. Desp despair? If you sell your despair to us, we will give you hope. How, how does that work as a business? I don't know why or how, but it sure was popular. A and then? But at some point, humans stopped selling it to us. They said they couldn't give us it even if they wanted to. What do, what do you mean? They hold on to it like treasure but scream for help to separate it from them. Uh -huh. That's why we started loaning the hopes and dreams to them. Why why did you lend it to them when you could have just as easily give, give it away? They tend to be thrown away if we give them it for free. Oh. You threw it away too, you debtor. I was hit on the forehead by a fist. For playful jest, it was unexpectedly strong that I nearly fell over. Anyway, since they were throwing them away, if you just gave it to them, you started loaning them out instead. Yep. I plan to have them return with a lot of interest. Mm-hmm. But everyone went bankrupt. Uh-oh. 
Give it back! Give it back! Sorry, I've, I've, got, I've genuinely got nothing. Ah! <coughs> it was now late in the afternoon and the sun had returned home. I gave Santa a cup of water. How is it? Rudolph doesn't like it. Do you honestly think I can satisfy my hunger with just minerals? He says. Oh, Rudolph. You don't plan on being picky with what you eat in your current status. Santa? Yes? What do you plan to do from now on, Santa, since this whole thing about lending isn't working out? Shouldn't you try something else? Hmm. Can you try and come up with a plan? Hmm. We decided to contemplate for a moment. And on that, I'm going to wish you all a very Merry Christmas as we all contemplate exactly what Christmas means to us. Exactly what Christmas means to you, your family, and your loved ones. Let's all just think about that for a moment as we look at this adolescent girl pretending to be Santa Claus. Or, or is it Santa pretending to be an adolescent girl? There are many questions. But the real question here is, what's the true meaning of Christmas? Have a great one, big nonsense. And I'll see you very soon for another Indie Game Review for you, big nonsense. Bye for now, big nonsense. Bye for now.